I'm not troubled in my heart about your self-esteem. I'm not troubled in my heart about whether or not you feel good about yourself, whether or not life is turning out like you want it to turn out, or whether or not your checkbook is balanced. There's only one thing that gave me a sleepless night. There's only one thing that troubled me all throughout the morning, and that is this. Within a hundred years, a great majority of people in this building will possibly be in hell. And many who even profess Jesus Christ as Lord will spend an eternity in hell. Many of the things that you love to do, God hates. Did you know that? Pray for revival. You're going to have a youth meeting. You want God to move. But before you go there, you watch programs on television and God absolutely despises it. And then you wonder why the Holy Spirit hasn't fallen on a place and why you have to create false fire and false excitement. God's not in it. God is a holy God. And the only way you and I could ever be reconciled to a holy God is through the death of God's own Son. When He hung on that tree. Because you need to realize the Bible says for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And you have no idea what it means. That we were born radically depraved and God hating. That we would have never sought God, never come to God, we have rebelled against God, broken every law. It's not just an issue that you have sin. The issue is you've never done anything but sin. What we need to see, I'm not trying to be hard for the sake of being hard. You realize how much love it takes to stand before 5,000 people and tell them that American Christianity is almost totally wrong. The Bible says in the prophets that even our greatest works are like filthy rags. God. And because of that, you know what we deserve. The wrath of God. Why am I a Christian? Because there was a time in my life when I prayed and asked Jesus Christ to come into my heart. I want you to know that the greatest heresy in the American evangelical and Protestant church is that if you pray and ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart, He will definitely come in. You will not find that in any place in Scripture. What you need to know is that salvation is by faith and faith alone in Jesus Christ. And faith alone in Jesus Christ is preceded and followed by repentance. A turning away from sin, a hatred for the things that God hates and a love for the things that God loves. A growing in holiness and a desire not to be like Britney Spears, not to be like the world, and not to be like the great majority of American Christians, but to be like Jesus Christ. I don't know why you're clapping. I'm talking about you.